Mistakes were made, my friends. Mistakes were made. And I want to share these stories with you in the hopes that you can avoid the mistakes that I made when it comes to my wardrobe. So even though I consider myself very thoughtful when it comes to shopping, very aware, I got sucked into two traps recently. So one was I bought $250 worth of items from a fast fashion website. And I did mention this, and I am gonna do a video about those items because every single one of them was awful and mostly because of quality, fit, awkwardness in the garment, and I should have known better. This is why these websites are able to charge what they charge. Now, in my defense, I had purchased a bathing suit from this website, and I really love it, and it was very good quality, and what drew me to the site was they use a lot of models that are very curvy, women of color with like beautiful curves, and they really highlight that and I felt as a soft dramatic they would make garments that would accommodate more of those curves but the worst part is this website doesn't do returns they only do store credit so now I have to <laughs> buy from them again until we get it right and maybe we will and I'll just keep making videos about my try-ons but I could have bought one or two beautiful items for that price that pr probably would have served me better. So that's one. Okay, Laura from the future, I was just about to post this video and I realized I did not even cover all the other reasons that fast fashion websites are problematic. Never mind the fact that they don't actually make good clothes. Environmental concerns, poor working conditions, poor wages, like let's get real, that's the reason they're really bad, but they also don't tend to make great clothes. Double whammy. Two is last weekend, my husband and I went to Montreal and I was really excited to do some shopping at some of the stores that we do not have in Vermont. And I had a list, as I often do. I advise you all to keep a wish list of these items that you're looking for, that you feel there's a gap in your wardrobe. So when you are in those situations, in your shopping, you know what it is you need and you're less likely to impulse buy. I love to keep a list of wish list items. It helps keep me prevent me from impulse shopping. So we were let loose on this beautiful luxury mall and I will make a video about the mall itself. It was it was a cool experience, but I <laughs> tried out a bunch of things, got really excited and walked out of there with two items that were not on my list and went to another store and I bought both of those items from Alo, Alo Yoga, which I do think is a wonderful brand and makes high quality pieces, but they weren't things that I needed and they were not inexpensive. And then we ended up at Zara and I bought this like silk skirt that I just knew when we left this store, it was gonna be very fussy, not an easy item to wear. And I just felt such guilt and such remorse when we got back to the hotel that night. And I said to my husband, I want to return everything. I just really got caught up in the moment. And I think once I get home, I'll, I'll like, I won't even miss these things. So fortunately we were able to return them. I did end up finding a pair of boots and that's another video. I have just done a video about looking for winter boots. So I'm excited to share that with you. But, and again, I'll do that in my defense. I, when I walked into Free People a couple months ago and I bought this righteous Runzi that I'm obsessed with, this was an impulse. I didn't even know something like this existed, yet I wear this almost like multiple times a week. I love this. So sometimes it can work and I, I think my advice for you there would be bring an item home and if you want to wear that thing tomorrow, like you're going to find a way to wear it or sometime in the next few days and you try it on with other things in your wardrobe and you have all these use cases in your mind for this item, even if you didn't know that you wanted it, it's likely something that's gonna work out. But when I thought about the items I purchased, I was like, 
I'll wear these a few times. I can see this being a problem because I can't tuck it into pants and these shorts are only for these certain scenarios. Like I can live without these. So even <laughs> someone who considers themselves very thoughtful can make mistakes. So don't be too hard on yourself. And these are obviously are champagne problems, not problems. But I, I just wanted to share so that maybe you can avoid some of these mistakes. And I'll have some videos coming out about the Montreal shopping experience, the boots, a um, couple other videos I've just filmed a lot lately and just need to put it together. So hope you're all doing well and happy shopping.